In this video, we'll be looking at left-handed limits, or one-sided limits. Definition. The left-hand or one-sided limit of a function refers to the limit of a function as x approaches c from the left. This is notated by a negative sign to the top right of the c here. So the limit of f of x as x approaches c from the left. If this limit equals the right-hand limit as x approaches c, then a limit exists at c if f of c exists. An example. Using the graph below, determine the left-hand limit of the function f of x at x equals negative 8, negative 2, 6, and 10. So, let's look at these. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 8, negative 8, from the left. If we look at negative 8, and how the function is approaching negative 8 from the left, we can see that it equals a negative 6. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 from the left equals, so if we're at, we're at negative 2, we're coming from the left, 3. The limit of f of x as x approaches 6 from the left is, if we're at 6 coming from the left, equals 2. The limit of f of x as x approaches 10 from the left is equal to, coming at 10 from the left, 0. Calculate the limit of 1 over the quantity x minus 3 as x approaches 3 from the left. So when utilizing the process of substitution, the result we get is the limit equals 1 over 0. So we know that at x equals 3 an asymptote exists because this is, a, this is not, a, not a useful solution. So we know an asymptote exists at this point because the fraction is over 0 and that doesn't work. So as a result, one must visualize the graph and realize that as the function approaches x equals 3 from the left, the y values are rapidly decreasing to negative infinity because the numerator is infinitely becoming closer to 0, but never quite reaches 0. As such, the limit of 1 over x minus 3 as x approaches 3 from the left equals negative infinity. So, that was a formalized explanation, but here's, here's what we need to understand. When it's saying x is approaching 3 from the left, that means it's, it's really, we're going from 2.98 to 2.99 to 2.999, and we're approaching 3 from the left. So, we know that this x value here isn't really 3. If we were to use substitution, we would get this. But it's not really 3. It's really, you know, 2.999 repeating forever. So we're infinitely getting closer to um, uh, a, an infinitely small value in the numerator, which an, infinite, an infinitely small negative value in the numerator. So 1 divided by 0 0.00000, 000, 000, an infinitely small negative number, gives us the limit of negative infinity because 1 divided by an infinitely small number is infinity. So that's how we get the limit of 1 over the quantity x minus 3 as x approaches 3 from the left.